Hey guys, what's going on? This is Evan here, the paramedic coach, and I'm back here with another video. Guys, inside this video, what I'm going to be going over is a full overview of all the EKGs that you are going to see. Uh, this video, guys, will be pretty cut and dry. I want to get right to the point here. So, this video is best served for anyone who's about to be going to paramedic school. So, let's dive into it. So first, um, you can even go along with me on this video. Uh, first, I want you to watch this video in its entirety. Um, after the video, you can go ahead and play around. You have to understand about EKGs and what they're about. So there's a game. It's called Skillstat EKG. Uh, you can go to skillstat.com or just type in EKG Skillstat into Google and you'll find this. Now what I want to do is I want to go over exactly why the rhythms are what they are and what the waves are and what they look like and go through how you can start to understand this new language of EKGs, okay? So we're gonna start from the start here. I'm gonna pull up my whiteboard, okay? So we can see here on the screen, it's my mouse. This is actually a normal sinus rhythm right here, okay? So you can see here, normal sinus rhythm is about 60 to 100, okay? So this is what your rhythm strip would look like on the heart monitor. So you can see here the P waves here. You have your QRS complex right here. And you have your T wave, okay? So this is the P wave right here. PR interval is right here. We have our QRS complex. R waves here. S waves here. There is no Q wave that I can see here in this, uh, this presentation. Maybe a slight one. Here, maybe, but very, very minimal. It's not anything huge. Then you come over to your ST segment and the T wave. Okay? So I'm going to let this run. This is what your normal sinus rhythm will look like, okay? So we're going to go over the normal sinus rhythms first, okay? Pretty cool. Okay, now watch. Here's sinus bradycardia. Now the only thing that changes here in sinus bradycardia is going to be, it's, look, it's the same thing. P... QRST, the only thing that's changing now, as you can see here, it's just a, it's just lower, okay? Just a lower heart rate, that's all. Now, sinus tachycardia, it's the same thing, notice. P wave, QRS complex, you have the T wave. But notice, it's faster. So these R waves are closer together. See the difference? See how they're more spread out? So 72 heart rate, 54, sinus tach. And you can read along here, the, I mean, you can see right on the screen here, things that it might be caused from. Now, sinus arrhythmia. Now, this talks about you breathe in and you breathe out. The heart rate will increase and decrease. So you can notice here, if you look at the rhythm, so the patient here, here he is. Okay, so this is going to be on exhalation. And you're going to see it's going to change. I'm just going to let it go through. See the difference here? You can see how it's longer here and shorter here. So see it's shorter here and then longer. So it ends up being actually, it, it's totally benign, but it ends up being irregular actually. So nothing wrong with it, it's just irregular, okay? Now, sinus exit block and sinus arrest, I'm, gonna, I'm going to actually skip over these. For this video, if you wanna learn more about them, go ahead and look at them. They're not main things that are going to be on your test. I want to go over the ones, the main, the main ones here, okay? Next one's going to be, uh, what is a PAC, okay? So, a premature atrial complex. So, what that means is you have a normal sinus rhythm. Here, look at normal sinus. So, it's P, QRST, P, QRST, oh, P, oh, and then P, QRST. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See how it's normal, 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 and then all of a sudden this comes out of nowhere? What happens is, an, a, an, they call it an ectopic beat. So a beat didn't start in the normal spot, okay? So let's go back in the whiteboard real quick so I can explain this to you. So I want you to remember, here's our heart, okay? And the impulses start up here, SA node. Okay, and we're gonna split the heart in half. Okay, this is the junction right here, the AV node. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Then we're gonna go here, bundle of hiss right here. 
underneath the junction, bundle branches, and then down here we're going to have all these Purkinje fibers. Okay, going off there. Okay, so we got a bundle branch, bundle branch. Okay, so if we have an impulse that starts, okay, that starts right here. This is a sinus rhythm because it starts in the proper place at the SA node. Okay, anything that starts at the SA node, the rate's going to be for the normal, con the normal conduction is going to be 60 to 100. Okay. Anything that starts here at the AV junction, okay, think a junctional rhythm, it starts in the junction, is going to be 40 to 60, normally. Anything that starts, anything that starts here in the ventricles, okay, I just want you to think simply it's going to be about 40, okay? I have to keep it simple, it's going to be about 40. Anything in the ventricles is going to be slow, okay, the normal ventricular pacemaker, okay? A normal ventricular pacemaker is gonna go real slow. And we're gonna see examples of this, okay? So, a normal sinus rhythm, 60 to 100, a normal junctional rhythm, 40 to 60, a normal ventricular rhythm, normal, not VTAC, not VFib, 40, okay? Okay, now, let's talk about the next step here. When we talk about a a PAC, what's happening is here, the impulse normally starts here. The PAC, the PAC comes in, we might have an impulse come over here, over here, could be over here. It's, it's happening, and it's popping up on the EKG, okay? So if we have a PVC, we got an impulse that's starting over here out of nowhere. It's popping up. A PJC means it's starting over on the, the, near the junction, it's popping up out of nowhere, okay? That's all it means. So what we call that basically is sinus rhythm, with, they call, it, they call it ectopic beats, the name for it. So other beats going on. Okay? If you get, and there's certain terms for this, but I like to think about it like this. If you have three in a row, then you, three in a row, I, I personally call that a run. So three or more in a row is a run. So someone might say, oh, I got a run of V, oh, I got a run of PVCs. Well, that might be, I might have been a run of VTAC, right? You got to watch out for that, okay? I'm going to clear my board. Let's go back in. All right, let's go back in. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now we know that. So that's all this is, okay? It's the same rhythm as this. It just has an, some ectopic beats in it, okay? So now, what is SVT? Well, I'm going to let it run. See how fast it is? Look at the R to R. Always look at the R to R. See how close they are? The closer the R waves are, the R waves are right on top here. The closer they are, the faster it is. The more farther apart, then it's going to be more, obviously, spread. So look. Look at SVT versus sinus bradycardia. Look at the R to R. See the space? Just that alone, you know the, how fast. See the difference? So you can see here, SVT, guys, is basically, I like to think SVT, it's, it's so fast, you can't determine where the T and the P wave is, and you just get this big spike in the middle. That's your SVT. Okay? AFib. Okay, now AFib is a chaotic rhythm. It really is. So it's irregularly irregular, which means there's no pattern with AFib. So look, I'm going to let it run. Watch. So here to here, then here to here, then look, so go R to R. Here to here, here to here, here to here. Here to here, look at this, it's all over the place. So if you see a rhythm like that, and you got, and it looks like there's V-fib, <laughs> okay? V-fib looks like this, watch, watch this. Here's V-fib, see that? Now watch A-fib. Okay, so basically, A-fib looks like V-fib with a QRS complex irregularly popping up. That's what A-fib is. So what is AFib actually? It's the atrial fluttering around. So the heart, if I can draw it out, our top part of the heart here, so atria, ventricles, split them up. This part of the heart here is like quivering. 
and you're at risk of getting blood clots because the flow of the flow is not strong. Okay, it's it's kind of leaking down here, so you can get clots rolling around in here. Okay, pretty cool. All right. Now the next thing we got here is a flutter. So a flutter, if you want to think, it looks like a shark tooth. This is a very, very, very common question to get in your test, guys. So if you look here, I'm gonna go through. See how that shark looks like a shark tooth. Now this could be. See, it talks about the response two to one, four to one, right? So what that what that means is count the shark tooths. This is a three to one response. See, there's one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So one, two, three, boom. You can see down here. Okay, they call it a four to one response. Okay, whatever whatever you want to call it. What I like to what I like to call it basically is that if I got three different shark toots here, then I'm gonna call it three to one. Three 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 of these, one of these. Okay. So I like to count I like to count how many shark toots I have. So that's what you can see here. Okay. Let's keep going on. So this is called paste atrial. So all you got to know here, guys, is very simple. See this line right here? Anytime on an EKG you see a line like this going down, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a pacemaker. So this pacemaker is being paced off the atrium. Okay, that's all it means. They got a pacemaker. Okay, so here we go. So this is a your heart blocks. So heart blocks here, you can see it looks pretty normal, right? But what's different between this? And sinus rhythm. Let's look at it. Look at it carefully. Here's normal sinus. Here's sinus rhythm with a first degree heart block. What's the difference? I'm gonna do it again. Look. Look right here. Look at the PR interval. See how see how it's nice and short here. Look at it over here. See how long that is. Look how long that is. It looks so. Long. It's way too long. So all all normal sinus is. All, all the all it is, I mean, the impulse taking too long, okay? It's a it's, it's a delayed response between the atria and the ventricles firing. Delayed response, okay? Well, you can see here prolonged transmission of the electrical pulse through the AV junction and the bundle of hiss. Okay. You can see here second degree type one. So watch this one. Now this one is known for longer. And longer and drops. The beat's gonna get longer and longer and drops. So watch this. So here we are. Okay, nice PR interval. QRST. PR interval, a little longer. QRST. P wave, longer. QRST. P wave, longer. QRST. P. No QRS. Watch. So what? Watch them. I want you to watch the middle of your screen here. Watch. Short, longer, longer PR, longer PR, drop the beat right there. Drop the beat right there. Let's do it again. Okay. Normal, longer PR, longer PR, super long PR, drop that beat. Okay. So you're dropping beats and it's getting longer and longer. The PR interval gets longer, 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 longer. Okay. Now remember, these two we can use atropine for and these two we cannot. Okay. So this is second degree type two. So watch this. You're gonna look at the PR interval. The same, the same, the same, the same, the same, the same, the same. Drop the beat. So that's a P wave, but there's no QRS. So the difference between type one and type two is very simple. Type one, it goes longer, longer, longer drops. Type two, it drops a beat. There's no, so there's no QRS, but there's P wave. But the PR is consistent. This is always on a test question. It is always there. Now watch this. Here's your heart third degree heart block. Watch this. I want you to watch the PR intervals. The pearl with third degree heart blocks is there's no pattern. There's no longer longer drops. And there's also no secure PR interval. But they're drop beats. So if it's not longer longer drops and it's not secure PR, it's got to be third degree. Watch. So here it is, short, drops a beat, drops a beat. Here it is again, drops a beat. Here it is again, 
drops a beat, here it is again. P wave, P wave, P wave. You see, it's chaos. There's no correlation between P waves and QRS. It's, it's a mess. It's a very slow heart rate. It's lethal. Okay. Now, this here is going to be your PJCs. So, with junctional rhythms, guys, I want to go back to this. Okay. So, junctional rhythms. Okay. So, look, anything above, let me show you, anything above. So anything above the junction, which is the toll booth of the heart, okay? So anything above the AV node is going to produce a P wave. Anything above he, AV, the junction, is going to produce P wave. Because that, because remember, the P wave, okay? The P wave stands for eight, when the atria fires. The P wave... This right here is the atria depolarizing or firing, contracting. This right here, the pure interval, is the time the impulse takes to go from here to the junction. So this is like your PR, right? And then the QRS complex, when the ventricles start to fire, when the impulse gets through the toll booth, and now this fires. When this goes, when, when the impulse is totally done, it goes back to relax, a T wave fires, okay? So this is what it's representing all right now. But the junction, the impulse starts the junction, which means there's none of this stuff here. So you're not going to get a P wave, not going to get a PR interval, because there's no P wave. You're just going to get a rhythm like this. And go, where the hell is the P wave? There is no P wave because it starts right here. Make sense? Okay. Hope that was clear. So here we go, junctional. So watch, P, watch the PJC, P wave. So normal size, P, Q, R, S, T, 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 P, Q, R, S, T. Whoa, whoa, where's P wave? This is, the, this is the T wave, baby. See how it comes in early, look. R to R, R to R, R to R, R to R. Whoa, what's going on here? No P wave, it's flat, junctional. Now walk with the junctional rhythm. The junctional rhythm's heart rate is 48. We go back to our guide here. Go back to our guide here. So we talk about a normal sinus rhythm when the pacemaker is the SA node, it's 60 to 100, right? So when the AV node takes over as the starter of this beat, the start of this, it's going to be at a rate of 40 to 60 when it is the, is the start of this rhythm. Now watch. See, it's 48. Look, no P wave, but it's got QRST. There's no P wave because the SA node's not even involved in this. It's, it's, the SA uh, node is falling asleep, okay? Now, when this junctional rhythm gets accelerated, they call it accelerated junctional, it now goes up to 60 to 100. When you're in a junctional tachycardia, okay, then you end up with this, okay? Let's go on to the next one, all right? Now, this is called wandering pacemaker. I'm not gonna talk about this one because it's very, very to go on your test. You can, again, these are one of these, kind of like a science exit block and science arrest, all right? Wandering pacemaker, well, you can look these up on your own. These are just, these are rare ones you're gonna see. So I wanna stick to the core ones you're gonna get tested on. Guys, oh my God, I'm almost done. This is incredible. This is, all, this is paramedic school right here, okay? Um, so let's keep going. Um, so we got the idioventricular rhythm. This goes back to our thing. Now, here's my junction, okay? My junction. Below this junction, okay? Well, actually, the junction's technically right here, okay? So this is a little off. Let me draw it correctly for you guys. I told you guys, I'm, this is totally unedited, guys. This is raw. This is raw as it gets here, okay? Because I want to get right to the point here. I don't want to make this perfect. I want to make this real. So I'm going to draw my lines. SA node. AV node sits right in the junction here. Okay. Like kind of like you know, a toll booth between. Think about like a state, a state line. Okay. So here's the atrias. Here's the ventricles. So this is right in the state line. It's not above. It's right in the state line. This is above. So SA. AV. That's a toll booth. And then we got bundle of hiss. Bundle of hiss is when you first get into the new territory. 
then you do your bundle branches, then you have your little Prickenji fibers. So over in trickler rhythm is going to start all the way down here, all the way down in here, trickler rhythm. So remember the pacemaker of the ventricle. So if the SA note says, sorry, I, I can't help you with the heartbeat. The AV note says, sorry, I'm tired. I don't want to help you with the heartbeat. And the ventricles go, well, I guess I'll do it. I'll start, to, I'll start the show. Your heart rate becomes right here. Again, I said think about 40, okay? It's really 20 to 40. So I, I used to say think about 40. So 20 to 40, you get 36. Here it is. You get a big wide rhythm. Okay, it's big wide QRS. Okay. Now, if that gets accelerated, it just goes up, it just goes up to 40 to 100. Okay. Now, VTAC, you're gonna die. So, okay, you are the odds are it's a coin flip if you're in cardiac arrest at this point. And then VFib is you are VFib means you are dead, 100 percent You are dead. Right? And asystole is even the next point. Now, pace ventricle, I do want to bring this up. See that pacer spike right there? I want to just play the pacers. Sometimes a pacemaker. See that spike right there? Now, look we'll, at we'll pace atrial. See a spike right there? Okay. Now, here's what it has. See, there's a game here you can play too, guys. So, you can play the game right here. Well, I'll just show you, right? So, you play the game. So, you can go in here. You can do a settings. You can have volume. You can do static or dynamic. Right, so if you if you're doing a let's say you're doing static, I can do static from one minute. I can play the game. Right, so then you can go. Okay, what rhythm is this? A fib. See, it says right next rhythm. Then you look at this and you go. Okay, let's see here. The PRI is a little long, and it's 74. What is this, guys? What do you think? Hmm. I'm gonna go with this. Right. Okay. So look at look at this one. Okay. So let's see here. PR, PRs, kind of all over the place. I'm going to go with third degree heart block. Right. See? And that's how you play the game. Then it will time you. The faster you get, the better, right? So let's do another one. So you can see here, what's this here? Take a look at it. What do you think it is? So you got 82 of the heart rate. Take a look at it. What do you think it is, guys? And why, again, why are going along me? You can take a guess, take a stab at it. Like, what do you, th what do you think it is? Okay, now the accelerated junctional, because there's no, you see, there's no P wave. No P wave. P waves are up. No P wave, but it's fast. Pretty cool. Keep going. Okay, what do you think this is, guys? It's wide, but f a little fast. Accelerated ventricular. Uh, let's, we even got time for one more. Wow, perfect. Well, P wave looks good. It's R to R's look good. Okay, we got one more. Okay, I'm gonna go with junctional. I just got it in time, guys. Woo! Okay, and that's it. So now it says excellent. You identified seven out of seven. Your average time was eight seconds, and I'm skilled in EKGs. Well, that's good. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this class here on YouTube. Guys, a few things before you take off. Uh, down in the comments down below, I have my paramedic coach course. Um, this is the exact training that I give to all my students and everyone that I train out in the field to my paramedic coach course. Whether you are about to go into EMT school or you are about to go into medic school or you're in class right now, we go over the core concepts and the infield concepts that make you pass school on easy mode. So click down below. The course is only $49. Believe me, this will be the best $49 you've ever spent on anything in your life. And let me tell you, if you really want to impress your teachers, if you really want to impress upon your peers and really show your skills as an EMS provider, the course will allow you to do that. So grab the course down below. Guys, you got a ton of cool stuff coming out here with the course and some other things as well. You got a whole lot of cool stuff coming your way. Thank you for being a subscriber. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with some classmates if it gave you value. And guys, I will see you next time. Cheers, guys.